Alright, so as you all know, the Citadels have updated, and now we have a new plot, which pretty much covers avatars. They give like a skill boost and XP boost, and they help out combat kind of stuff. So yeah, we got that now, and uh, let's just actually change around here so I can do. So yeah, we just figured we'd go to the Citadel and check out what we got here. It's in the Citadel tab. Um, actually, no, it's a mini map. That's not like get done emoting. <laughs> Go into the mini map, and you go to this part here, customization. I actually checked in here, it's not under buildings. It's actually customization, because it's right here. This red spot in the main part there. And based on whatever your layout looks like, look for the big uh, yellow brownish section. Click on that. Click avatar habitat. Basic cost 3,000 timber. Medium cost 30,000 timber and 30,000 uh, precious bars. And the grand is the same as before, but also adds on 30,000 rations. We're going for the best, so that's what we're going to buy. Cancel the order, we'll lose all progress towards it, so do not click cancel unless you want to be fucked in the ass. Uh, moving on, now we have new resource uh, goals, so that means after all the upkeep is paid for everything, it is all checked on green, it will be all down to the bottom part. It will be all green, once all your stuff's paid up, which we're not yet. We're about uh, right there, the first thing. But the upgrades, this here, um, not enough full members have visited this week. Okay, so no more people need to visit the Citadel to upgrade this, and also we're going to need another 23.6 thousand timber, 30,000 precious bars, and 25.2 thousand. Apparently he's in the Citadel with you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I just told him, okay. <laughs> okay, so 30,000 timber we're going to need. Let's go back to this here. Click the upgrades and timber. It's going to show your upkeep, which is 7090. We're going to add 30,000 to that, so 37090. Yeah, just PK Derek. Enter. I PK another stuff. Lock when too. it's done. So that means once that's done for the goal, it will mm -hmm. lock it until everything else is done, and then it will unlock after that. Manual lock pretty much overrides everything. Oh my god, this fucking ventrilo is annoying. Back to that later. Manual lock overrides everything. So, a goddamn it, pop up. <sighs> Try this again. <coughs> the lock on target makes it so when your goal gets set, it will lock, and once all goals are met, it will unlock. Manual lock makes it preventable from anybody gathering it. Go down to, uh, actually, what's the next upgrade? Next thing is precious bars. We need 30,000 precious bars. So, back to the bar graph, back to precious bars, and 30,000. So, that means. The upkeep is 4690. That means we need 34690. 690. Enter. And lock when that's done. Back to upgrades again. Once more. The very last thing it needs is 30,000 rations. So bar graph. Get that into rations. Upkeep is 29. I mean, 8920. So you're going to need 30,000. So it's 38. 920. Type that in. 38920. Enter. And click this here. And once that's done, as you can see, Bell lock this here, manual lock. So that'll be locked until after. Actually, we don't even need that much. Uh, with charcoal and stuff like that, the ores and charcoal do not have a limit. So you might want to just click on there somewhere and click, like, you know, like, I don't know say 8,000 and then lock after that. So once they get 8,000 they will have to make bars and tell someone to come in the Citadel and reset the lock which when you reset the lock you click here once, click there again it resets the lock so now once that's reached again it will lock again. You can do the same thing for this here 8,000 and lock when it gets to that goal and also for the precious ores so go 8,000 and lock when it gets there which on bars, we only need 3920, so let's just change that down a little bit. Hmm. Alright. So that is done. Actually, stone we don't need any more of. We're done with that one. I just don't need to go on it. You set that to zero and clear it out. <laughs> Amber. Ugh. So anyway, 
with that said and done, now we are set to go back out to the Citadel. Anyway, so as you can see, we got our Clan Vexilum, which you can't do anything with it right there, but if you wield it, and then right-click it, you can teleport to the Citadel, which won't work when you're in the Citadel already, but teleport to Clan Camp. Let's see if this works. Nope, can't do it from here. So, you can teleport right to the portal, and then enter, and it comes to where we're at here. Another nifty little thing is this cave. You can click Fealty Record... Uh, yeah. You can click Fealty Reward from here, or you can have it on and right click fealty reward. Fealty pretty much gives you 9000 XP and any skill that's 90 or above. As you can see here, it's about like, you know, 8000. 9000, 7000, depends what the skill level is on what you get. So, let's put it on hit points and confirm. And ta-da, I just got 9000 hit points XP. Every week you can do this. I wonder if I might get to that. <laughs> So, as you go around to different parts of the Citadel, you can actually use your different parts of your armor. So, for right now, let's just uh, remove this, remove that, and put it in the bank. The bank is right here. So, let's head over this way here. Right click, and go to the banker. Put this in, put that in. Things that you can be able to use for boosted XP is the Lumberjack set for wood cane timber, the Golden Mining set for mining the stone, ore, and precious ore. Things that do not work in Citadel is a fire making ring and gloves. They do not work on the fire making plot uh, fire making plot for coal. And neither do the cooking gauntlets help you to boost any XP or not burn stuff when you're doing the cooking at the barbecue. So all of these can go back into your bank where you don't need them. As so. Now we'd be taking our stuff that we do have and going for a little trip mining. The pickaxe actually isn't required. You do not need any tools while you're in the Citadel. Just the armor to boost your XP. You can also use Wisdom Ore. If you have a Wisdom Ore, it gives you 2.4% boost on anything you do, which does work in Citadel. Uh, instead of running, you can actually teleport. Click on this here and teleport to woodcut or mining. As such. Now when I change out my mining outfit into my woodcutting outfit, you just go around to the tree here. And you click on the different branches on it. When you click on a branch, it will stay there in AFK woodcut for a while.
So if you want to, you can stay right here in AFK while you're playing other games. So once the root grows back, you just click the same spot again, and it will start woodcutting the same thing again, another six tries. Or you can click to the next root if you don't want to wait. If you want to keep a tab on how much resources you gathered, go to the Production Citadel tab and click on any skill. This here locks on the page that you're looking at, so you can see how much the clan has gathered total and how much you have gathered total, and if it's locked, unlocked, or whatnot. It also shows what tier number it is and what it is. Summoning is the Oblisk. We have Cloth is Crafting at the Loom. Also, you can check out your total resources gathered and your total resource total like cap that you can get. Once you get to the cap, you can't gather any more for that week until the next week begins. There's your precious bar's goal and how much clan has gathered so far and how much you have gathered so far and it's showing the pending lock once the goal is met. To check out when the citadel resets, the build cycle begins in 6 days, 18 hours and 16 minutes and 32 members of the clan have visited citadel this week. And it's in the red because you need at least, I think, like 40 or 45 people must visit a citadel or else it downgrades one level. So moving on, we also have a mining spot, which if you use this here, the mining armor, you actually climb up these rocks or else mine the stone down here, which stone is locked right now. Let's see what happens if I try mining stone. Yep, skill plot is locked. So go up to any of these three rocks on the top floor and you'll be good for mining. And as you can see, it boosts XP by 2.4, as I mentioned. So it's 90 XP, and you're getting plus 2.1 bonus XP each time. And if you unlock this here, it will automatically change to whatever resource you're on as it gathers. Mining Plot, Tier 7. It will show you the ore, which is blue, yellow on the other side, which is precious ore, and stone at the very bottom step of both sides. That's the stone ore and precious ores that are used to make into bars with the charcoal, which is over there. So this here, once it's done, will be a habitat, which right now currently is just a waterfall going down into a whole pit of nothingness. Hey, isn't that the hole they use from Sparta? Well, anyway, so this gigantic gaping hole, which I'm not referring to your mom, but this hole here will become the, uh, I guess, place where you come to get your uh, clan avatars and recharge them and stuff like that. And it's not down here on the skill plots or anything. And I think you need to gather stuff for it, so I'll show you a video on that next week when it finally updates. Which will be in 6 days, 18 hours, 14 minutes from today. Lovely. But hey, on the plus side, our little signpost out front has some new clans updated here. So let me just show you the list here and see what we got. Alright, so, first clan on the list is called Invalid Meow, which is Amor Meow's clan chat. Clantastic is a long-term friend of World 9's, and they kind of branched off from us, so they got their own clan going. Zezima, Zizima, Zizima, whoever the hell you call him. This guy is a real asshole, and he's on our nemesis list, for obvious reasons. Uh, Wolf is actually a uh, allied clan, they actually share World 9 with us, we see him around, stuff like that, made friends with them, and same thing for Union of Heroes. Buy-in is a flower, hot, cold, bleh, one of those kind of clans, but they do host drop parties like we do, just theirs aren't from donations, and they have a live stream like we do, but yeah, anyway. So they share World 9 with us also at the GE, so I figure I'd list them on there. Mutinous Lot is also another branch off from us that pretty much formed up and stuff. They, uh... It used to be uh, led by a player mod, and then it passed on to another player mod. It's uh, pretty much like one of those player mod mature chat thingies. Green Brotherhood is by uh, a friend of mine that's on Facebook. Can't remember the freaking name off the top of my head, but I'm sure I'll post it in the description later. And he's got Green Brotherhood there, which is friendly with us. Ta da! Omega Escapers is also another World Niner clan that we've met. They have no connection to us except for being uh, listed on there as uh, neutral. So they share the same world as us, figure we list them. Oh, and as for checking resources, if anybody's green to you, they're in the same world as you, wow. click their name, 
and right next to it says check how much resource. That shows exactly what they gathered for each material, and if they have plus 45% bonus XP when they're doing the Citadel, that's because they did three weeks of maxing out resources to 20, well, 2.7 thousand resource.